Well, greetings from Jackson, Mississippi. I'm a, kind of an older guy, so I'm not sure I can really talk about young problems, but we'll talk about elbow arthritis in, in the younger population. Touch the middle of the screen. The arrow will turn green. Count to three. Use your right One, arrow. Two. Three. Quietly, please. <laughs> There we go. All right, what are our options? Uh, obviously, conservative management. Elbow arthroscopy may buy us some time. Uh, elbow fusion, uh, but patients really poorly tolerate that. Uh, total elbows in young people are, are totally a disaster. I'll show a horrible case. And uh, most recently for me, it's been fascial arthroplasty. I think now with the uh, ways to stabilize the elbow, with, particularly with the internal brace, it takes away the instability portion, and we've been fairly happy with, uh, with this technique. Uh, obviously, elbow arthroscopy, you got patients uh, with particularly a lot of loose bodies. Uh, this certainly can buy some time to help uh, remove these. Uh, fairly easy technique to do. Uh, the concern is sometimes if they're, they're bigger than your cannula, so you bring the loose body to the can and pull it all out uh, at one time. That's a nice little trick to get out some of these very large uh, loose bodies. Yes, sir. When you have these osteophytes, you know, the patients complain of pain with terminal flexion extension, uh, and that's where their pain is. So if you take away these osteophytes, uh, that really can buy them some time and relief. Uh, the key is, particularly with your anterior medial portal, you got to make it a little bit more anterior than normal, uh, so you can get around the humerus to get, to get access to burr down uh, these osteophytes. Uh, but this works, uh, uh, I think, uh, very well and can buy some time. Take off the, the anterior spec, the humerus, and, and the tip of the coronoid. I always can add auto bridge compungi uh, with this if you want. I don't think that really does much. Uh, take, if you take off the tip of the coronoid, but that certainly is an option uh, to take these uh, take these down. This is a, a disaster case. This is why you don't do total levels in young persons. Uh, this guy came from Texas. just bypassed Louisiana for some reason. He had 13 operations. It was a previous open fracture, previous infection. He had old nerve palsy, and uh, no one told me he had, to, he had to get his parole officer to give him okay to leave the state. Uh, so that was his, his x-ray. Uh, that's his post-op uh, x-ray. We thought that looked uh, pretty good. And surprisingly, once we did the transposition, his ulnar nerve palsy resolved. Uh, and this comes back three years later. He said he had a little fall. Uh, so we took that down. I thought that looked uh, uh, reasonable. And then he shows up 10 years later uh, in prison. And he apparently had another operation. And they let him uh, come over here to get this revised. So this is a lesson why not to do total elbows in uh, younger, younger patients, particularly uh, felons, maybe. So this is, uh, this is what our kind of, uh, we, we like, I think, is the uh, fascial arthroplasty. Uh, this was a 42-year-old uh, female. I had injury from surgery uh, somewhere else. Obviously, had a horrible, horrible elbow. Uh, quite a bit of pain. Again, our options are, are limited. Now, this, you can see that just the bad traumatic arthritis to her joint. Uh, and I think the key to this, we basically, if we can hinge it open, particularly on the older collateral ligament, that gives us easy access. Uh, we do our fascia arthroplasty, and we'll close that down with internal brace. Uh, here, I, we use quite a bit of anchors. I think that really helps uh, uh, tie the fascia down to the bone. Uh, here's the lecronon. We use, we'll use four or five anchors. Uh, pass that through the soft tissue graft. Secure that. Uh, the anchor guys love when we do these case. Uh, so that's the lecronon. Uh, then we go to the humerus. Again, multiple anchors. Uh, you can do some drill holes uh, through the humerus, anterior posterior, to help uh, secure the graft as well. We just need more anchors as possible. Uh, again, soft tissue on the ulna. And the humerus, we did one the other day. We just did the ulna alone because the humerus looked good, and she was she's she's pleased with it so far. And then we use the internal brace for stability. It gives you stability right off the bat. Uh, so move these you know move these patients early, and uh, we've been very happy uh, uh, with that. Right, so. so you look at the results. Uh, not great, uh, but good. And again, I think with the use of an internal brace, it can help expand these indications a little bit. We've been uh, very pleased with this uh, so far when, for these very difficult problems in, in younger patients. And I appreciate your attention. Thank you very much.